Hello, everybody, ladies and gents, Arkham folks in general. Welcome to a new round of Arkham Challenges with Justin from Playing Board Games. Feel free to say hi, Justin. Hello, everybody. I'm very excited for this today. Uh, yeah, today we're going to be doing Grab Bag uh, Dunwich Legacy. Uh, the basic idea behind this is that we're going to be randomizing certain assets, enemies, and uh, just, just some other functions so that we have like basically a little bit of uh, a surprises waited, waiting for us uh, at the uh, Miskatonic Quad and elsewhere. Um, so what the basic plan is, is every time that we uh, rescue one of our uh, many different compatriots we're going to instead pick a random asset from a pile of cards that include basically all of the signature assets from uh, Arkham's many campaigns and side quests. Uh, in addition, whenever we reveal a victory one enemy, we're also going to do the exact same thing. So we will be seeing random victory one enemies as well as random uh, assets, and we will be treating those assets and enemies as those characters for the rest of the game. So we might, for example, rescue a Dr. Francis Morgan who happens to also be, say, uh, Zebulon Waitley. <laughs> well, that doesn't quite work, but uh, yeah, I mean, it does work, but uh, yeah, so like, uh, but then we're also going to treat them as Dr. Francis Morgan for the purpose of the story and for any assets or anything that references them. So like, even if they become like, say, a gun or a sled, we can then have them be kidnapped and uh, put underneath cards and treat it as such. Um, yeah. And then like uh, on the same round, just uh, victory one enemies will also share those general stuff. And if there's any particular like story traits that are necessary for game function, we'll add those to the enemies uh, on top of that. Uh, so yeah, that's the basic idea of without, we are playing the parallel investigators. So uh, Justin has built a Daisy Walker parallel deck, which I'm pretty excited about. And yep, I see the geared up there. I'm very, very glad that's there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I, it's just more gambling on top of our grab bag, just hoping it works. Yeah, uh, she's got backpack now, right? Like they 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 yep. ruled in that backpack works with it, which I I'm really yep. really excited about that. I built a uh, geared up Daisy like right when geared up came out, and then it didn't work that well, and I was like, oh man, it would be so much better if the backpack worked the way that you wanted it to. And now it does. Yeah, and on my play testing, I hit every time, so that means now that we're recording, I'm not going to hit once. All right. Uh, well, mine is pretty reliant on getting hold of uh, Roland's signature gun which uh I, I hope i remembered to pick the upgraded version of <laughs> um <laughs> let's see here yeah no we should be good we should be good um oh, yeah, but I yeah I also i forgot to do the, I, I have to make it i'll do the change between episodes i forgot i don't have the advanced version and i wanted the advanced versions so uh, i might just switch them out between episodes but i'll grab them from here oh yeah i need the advanced versions as well actually it looks like they're not in my text so. they're all in this little box over here okay uh well we can find them and uh put them into play so we'll have to do one more set of asset swaps i guess um but yeah i think i forgot to put them in mine as well oh wait no i will forget by the end oh no i do have the correct one in my deck it's just that for some reason i have the other one in my side deck which yeah all right um uh, i'll provide a link to the deck in the description for the video and uh, a link to justin's as well if uh, justin uh, sends it to me which uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's I'll, I'll try to remember i have the number i can i can go look it up if i forget here just make a little mental note there <laughs> Okay, um, yeah. I'm just going to put them over here right now rather than go through my deck, and then I'll just switch them as they come up if I see them. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, well, we're going to uh, add a little bit of extra challenge as well just by starting on extracurricular activity, or extracurricular activity which, uh, oh boy, that'll be exciting. But um, yeah, I think, we, I think we should be good. Um, I think we're, we're ready to rock and roll. Um, yeah, typically, I think... I'm excited to see what the creature turns into. Oh yeah, that is gonna be fun. It is. Uh, it is a random pile of victory two enemies. Uh, I, I I will say that like if we feel like something is just gonna completely break the game experience, we can probably veto it when it comes out. But let's 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 uh, play it as it lies for now. Yeah 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 I agree. All right. Um, agenda one A: Quiet halls. You have arrived at the Miskatonic University campus in search of Professor Warren Rice. Classes are over, and a mysterious silence hangs in the air over the quad. Uh, it's seven doom to advance, um, and uh, we will actually advance to agenda two. Act one A: After hours. Professor Rice was last seen several hours ago by one of Armitage's students in the humanities building, and uh, we need six clues. And if we find six clues, then we can start doing other things. 
Um, I'm here to get clues. That's all I'm here for. So. Cool. I'm here to fight monsters, and that's all I'm here for. I think I might have a little bit of clue getting, just because. Yeah, I, mean, I have a I have a blood rights. I have a cult lexicon, so I can also do some stuff. But... Mm -hmm. Yeah. On that note, uh, my directives oh, yeah. this time around are red tape, so I can't play more than two cards around. Uh, leave no doubt, so I can't move more than twice around, and seek the truth, so I can't commit cards to skill tests on locations that have clues unless I have discovered a clue, uh, and then I can draw cards and play fast events um, as well as have plus three sanity and just be generally a very beefy boy um, but awesome. we will we will see how that goes um okay so yeah shuffling up and let's go ahead and draw all right well right away don't have the thing i most need oh that's what my random base of this good to know good to know uh, i'll have to uh, make a note to update that but uh, my, my random basic weakness is dread curse <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that's gonna be. I'll write that down too. Dread curse. That okay. is even better for me to add a blasphemous covenant into this. <laughs> mhm. Mm yep. Okay. Ooh, hoo, hoo. ooh, this opening hand. My opening hand is oh. not very spicy, so I think the only thing I'm gonna keep is the card that draws me some cards, just in case. And then we're gonna try and draw four. Okay. Mm, yeah, not great luck. Definitely still looking for guns, or even a uh, card that allows me to look for guns. But, uh, you know, we'll see how it goes. Definitely some fun stuff in here, though. So, yeah. Uh, let me go first, because I might be able to help you. Okay. Uh, I have a Schaffner's catalog that I'm going to pay for one less. Delightful. Um, and then I'm going to play this Grim Memoir for two. So that is two tomes, so I'm just keeping track of my brain. Uh, I'm going to spend this so uh, cool. two more uh, off of this to play this Tooth of Etsley. And then what is the weirdest thing in the world is that this is actually... Oh, these are item assets. Okay, so I don't get to play this last one. Uh, in that case, I'm going to take two off... I'm going to just take two off the Schaffners. Is there an item event? <laughs> yes, yes, the Raven Quill from Scarlet Keys. Oh, yeah, dang. That is a, that is a bummer. Um, fair enough. Did you did you mull into that? <laughs> oh no, I no, it was in my. I kept it, but that's okay. It's I still want it because I, I can mark experience. Okay. So. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, um, cool. And that's that's your turn because uh, geared up, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I can give you two off the shoppers. I do want to keep it in play because of the whole Daisy Walker stuff. Yeah, I'm I'm looking for guns right now. So I mean, that's just gonna be the start. Uh, we're gonna keep knowledge. Put two curses in the bag. I'll add two curse tokens. And we're gonna do that uh, fast because we're. Yep, pretty miserable luck so far. Um, <laughs> cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, deck has a small amount of guns in it, which is why we put in like the extra card draw and also the. Uh, I think it's got a prepared for the worst or two. So, uh, yeah, it looks like it's not hitting it. just not hitting it. Um, I but guess luckily this is the scenario two that we have. Like we have a lot of time on this one. Yep. Uh, first action will be to draw a card. Um. Uh, oh, here, one second. Let me get some hand counters for us. I think second action will be to play a cryptic writing so that we have a little bit of space. And third action will be to draw a card. Uh, okay, at least we got the prepared for the worst, so that'll be something next time around. <laughs> Watch as we hit nothing with it. <laughs> sure. Well, that would be a nightmare. Yeah. Alright, we can go upkeep? Uh, yep, upkeep sounds good. Resource and a card. Uh, it is a second custom modification, so I think we'll toss that. Uh, yep. Yeah, that should be good. All right. Uh, so we'll go to one of seven, mm -hmm. and I'll be a lead investigator just because we can go left to right. Sure, that makes sense. All right. I have a whippoorwill. Okay. Well, now we are bad at tests. Good to know. Um, is there anything that I can do about a whippoorwill right now? Not yet. Uh, eager for death. Test two will increase the skill tests difficulty by one for each damage on you. If you fail, you take two four. Um, always by eight cards. Do I have any will icons? Not a one. <laughs> so I'm testing uh, three against two. Uh, here. minus one. All good. Start. Great first token. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm going to carry on in my search for uh, weapons, yeah, if that's all right. It. Go for it. Uh, so first things first, uh, pay a resource to fast, prepared for the worst. Nice, it is a tactic. Yep. 
Uh, we, we did a little bit of theming, and uh, all of them are tactics. Okay, there are definitely guns. They aren't the guns that I most want, but I at least got a forty-five automatic, so that will work. Um, shuffle that up, and uh, yeah, let's play the forty-five automatic just so that we have a gun. Nice. Oh, uh, do you want some money? Uh, sure. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, take uh, two of it. Oh, yeah, that, that's awesome. Yeah, no, that's, that's going to help a lot, I think. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll eventually make this money back, but... So I've played right. my two cards for the turn, which means that uh, anything left is just stuff. Uh, why don't we just shoot this Whippoorwill? Let's see. Values four against two? Yeah, I can do that. I'm going to engage the Whippoorwill, and then I will... Yeah, I think a 4v2 is probably fine. We'll give yeah, it a go. Sounds good. Yeah! Uh, now I can play an additional card if I want to, which I can't, so... Uh, cool. Uh, but that kills it, so we're good there. Um, nice. Yeah, I don't have any directives that I want to ignore, as per usual, but uh, I think we're we're good to go. Cool. Uh, out these, uh, so that was... Auto -fail counters. Play Not gun, actually... engage, shoot. Yeah, so I am done. Nice. And I'll mark our first Elder Sign of the campaign. Excellent, excellent. We're going to get a lot of those. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to move into the Orn Library, which I remember is kind of a little bit tricky to investigate. Yeah, double investigate action for Orn Library. Uh, I think return to us an alternate version. This, I'm going to turn this into card draw. So uh, we're going to investigate at 7 to 3 and hopefully draw a card. I like it. Yeah, I'll draw a card. Cool. I'll succeed by 2. And we'll grab a clue as well. Okay. And I will draw... A very good card. Let's go. That's great news. Excellent. Okay. And then we can go to upkeep. Upkeep sounds great. That's also a nice card. <laughs> Cover up. That is not a nice card. That card's always very mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the advanced version as well. So what's the difference between the advanced and regular for this one again? Uh, it's an extra clue, I think. Nice. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yep. Yeah, it's nothing too crazy, but uh, it does, does matter, yeah. so... We can maybe hole up on the Humanities building and... Um... Yeah, I might go to the Student Union and I think it's even easier to investigate. Yeah, so. it's a one trout. It's a one trout. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're at two of seven doom. Okay. And I have drawn... Uh, all. I'm going to attach it to... We need six clues for this. They're about probably even, but I'm going to attach it to the current um, act because I think we're going to get through that first. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, we just I think need it's six. Be pretty evenly paced, though. Yeah, it seems likely. Cool. What do you uh, got? Uh, my encounter is Eldritch Accord. Oh, this is a return to one. I think. No, maybe not. You may draw a card. Yeah, I know what it is. It is. Yeah. You can choose and discard up to two cards from your hand. You fail. Take two horror. X equals the number of cards in your hand when the test begins. Oh my god. I'm oh. Seven tests, huh? Okay, so it's two horror. I mean, the draw card is the most interesting one, just because I'm not even sure if it's like correct to do that. Uh, I mean, I already... yeah, all right, sure, we'll draw a card. Yeah, I mean, three uh, v seven is not that much worse than. Oh no! <laughs> Dread curse. Add uh, five curse tokens to the back. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Um, so yeah, and then we'll we'll just take the two or most likely. I'm gonna test seventy three. There's a curse gone. Uh, and a minus one, so I fail, I take two horror. Alright. Okay. We're done uh, with six curses. Yeah, that's excellent. Sweet, why don't you go first? Sure, uh, let's move to the student union. After it's revealed, put the set-aside dormitories into play. You can heal damage and horror here. Uh, be nice to do that, but I don't think we're doing that this turn. Uh, fast action, I'm going to Burning the Midnight Oil. Seems so good. Gain two more resources and do a pretty bad investigate, 3v1. <laughs> uh, another curse. Minus two. You know what? I got a, got a resource out of that, so I'm okay with it. And that, yeah, you, basically, you got two resources and a free investigate. So yeah, that was that was how we drew it up, was basically like, oh, yeah, maybe you get a bad token, but uh, at the very least, it's just a fast emergency cash that you yeah, listen exactly, to emergency exactly. cash. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so, yeah, figured figured we might not get that, that's okay. Uh, so, last action, no, is that last action? I moved, yeah, I've actually got two left, because I get to use yeah, that fast. Left, 
Uh, we'll play custom modifications on this. Nice. So this is extended stock. I get plus two when attacking with this asset. Nice. And that'll be helpful for next turn. Do you discover a clue? If an enemy is at your location, you can exhaust this directive to draw a card, which, okay, I haven't discovered a clue yet. Uh, but, you know, I could just throw a 3v1 as long as there isn't anything yeah, terrible yeah, here. Yeah, that's not bad. And, I mean, also, like, eating a curse token is never... Yeah, I don't have 10 cards in my discard pile. Let's go. 3v1. Uh, we got a curse token. Hey, and a plus one. That. Yeah, so one more curse out of the bag. And uh, a, a clue. You want to grab a clue. Because you also uh, have a cover-up that you could get rid of if you wanted. I think... I think I'm gonna get a couple of clues and try to advance the act first, and then, like, I might even ignore the cover-up, depending on the situation. Sure, yeah, I'm for it, I'm for it. Okay. Alright, uh, I'll go. Sure. Because those are your actions. I'm gonna play a Dr. Milan Christopher. Love it. Okay. Um, and then we're going to... Oh, actually, you know what? I will, I will do the cover-up, sorry. Sure, yeah, yeah, no worries. Okay. Um... And then I'm going to double action Grim Memoir again. So we have eight to the game's three. Cool. All right, we'll draw a card. And I'll grab that and I'll gain a resource with Dr. Milan. Okay, I dig it. Okay, and then uh, that is me. And I'm done with the Orn Library, which is nice. Excellent. Cool. Uh, yeah. So that's the end of that. Yeah, so we go to upkeep. Yeah. Okay, maybe. Yeah, phase trackers. Anyways, okay, cool. Got some card draw, but I've already got most of the card draw I need. And also a lot of resources. Thank you very much for the Schofner's Extra. No problem. Oh, I think I uh, forgot to pay for the custom. Three of seven. Yep. My evil card is location with the most clues, which is actually your location. Excellent. I am perfectly happy to take that. I am also happy you took it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what's your evil card? My evil card is... Beyond the Veil, okay. Yep, alright. Well, we knew it was a possibility. Yep. 18 cards, and I gotta make some will tests. That's gonna be a little unfortunate, but I think we can probably live through it. Yeah, uh, and particularly that, and that surges into... Oh yeah, right, surge. <laughs> uh, visions of Future Past. Oh yeah, sure, just just, just get right into it. huh? Uh, I don't have any will icons, I think. Oh no, I've got one. We'll do a four, it gets five. Hell yeah. Minus two fails by three, so I discard three cards. One, two. Oh, Crete Wagner. I was really hoping to find her. Uh, okay, well, that's uh, not great for me. I think uh, it's a bit spooky. It's a bit spooky. Mm -hmm. Should be should be a little bit a uh, little bit much, but I think we'll be okay. Okay. Um. Uh, yes. Yeah, so that's the encounters. Yep. Cool. Yep. Uh, I guess I'll go first since I got this guy. Yeah, go for it. Well, we'll shoot him. Oh, wait, sorry. First things first. Uh, Fast action scene of the crap? I think I can do oh, yeah, that. I yeah, I believe the ruling now is that you can't do that, right? I think so. Yeah, it's first action and then it gains fast. But Yeah, it's still your first action, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a little weird because it's not technically an action, but... Uh... Leave the, the ruling now. Is that you can do that? Oh, I'm using that to clear cover ups. Sorry. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah, then you only have uh, one left on that. That's nice. Yep. Discover yeah, one or more clues. Discard the clues yeah. from cover up instead. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I'm not I'm not committing any cards to the skill test, so that'll work fine. So get rid of those. Eh, nope, that doesn't work. <laughs> uh, all right. Firing uh, four, five, six, seven, V2. So I think we're in good shape. Nice. Yep, super dead. Good kill, good kill. Okay, and then... Uh, normally I draw a card in this instance, but... Uh, this hmm. is 10 damage. You know, if you get some soak, you might be able to even just survive the veil. Yeah, that was my thought. I just need a greet, but uh, I discarded one already, so I gotta be careful. I don't think I can push for it yet. Um, you no, know, that's one if... If the universe gives you one, then it's good. Otherwise, it's too scary. Mm hmm Okay, so... Yeah, <laughs> that does leave me a little stuck. Uh, I think I will at least go to the quad so that I can shoot enemies off you if uh, bad things happen. 
Do you have an action left? I have an action left. I can come you to. You uh, command these building. I don't mind clearing out your cover up this turn. Uh, sure. Yeah. Humanity's building. Uh oh, oh, it's zero. It's zero. Oh no, it's two. Oh no. <laughs> oh right, I forgot about this. Uh, yeah, it I is two. two. This is my fault. Yep. All right, one, two. Rough, rough. Okay. That's my bad. Yep. This is blown on next train. Well, I'm, I'm gonna come in here. Yep. Uh, and then we're gonna investigate at six to three. Cool. Yeah, I'll gain a resource, and you can clear out your cover up. Cool. Sounds good. Goodbye, cover up. Oh, uh, it stays in. Is it removed from play? No, it stays in play. Oh, that's excellent. Yeah, so you won't see it again if you survive the reshuffle. <laughs> oh, you know that's a mistake I think I've made before. Good to know. Yeah, I, I, we actually we only know it because uh, Travis made it once, and we had to we cleared it twice in a scenario, and then someone was like, "You don't have to do that," and we were oh. like, "What?" Well, that's amazing. No, that's that's actually really good. Cool. Okay. All right, we are going to um, spend two resources for our last action to play my tote bag. Okay. Advanced version. So I have two additional hand slots, which you use to hold tome assets, and when I play a tome asset during my turn, it can gain fast. Oh, that's always good. Um, and then we can go upkeep, because I moved, I investigated, and I played my tote bag. Okay. Uh, unless you have any fast actions you want to take. <laughs> I would, I just don't have the cashola for it right now. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, sorry, I didn't have stand together this time. It's not a tactic or an insight. <laughs> Alright, we're at four of seven. Okay. And my evil card is a victory enemy. Shall we reach into the grab bag and see what comes out? Oh, yeah, that's right. We're playing grab bag. <laughs> I've already forgot. All right, so here we go. Instead of a vessel of the lurker, it is a gray weaver. <laughs> okay, okay. It's a bit sp spookier, to be honest. Yeah, no, that's a much scarier spider. <laughs> that is a spooky enemy. Okay, pray low with speed. Oh, it's ready. Each investigator's location can't move. Cool. All right. And what's your card? Uh, my card is the second Beyond the Veil, which gets discarded. And a thrall. Uh, spawn, most clues, that's our location. Okay. Okay. Okay, well, I don't have notch sights, so I'm just shooting at this thing. Now feeling very glad that I took the... Uh, Extended stock. Yeah. Uh. Hmm. How many bullets we got? A few. So it deals damage, which is a little bit of a problem. How are you uh, on fighting or evading this, I guess, is the question. Probably not fighting, but... Uh... Uh, probably not great for either of those things, unfortunately. I might have to just shoot at it, but I think I can clear both this turn. Okay, yeah, all right. I, I, I believe. Because you're attacking at, what, 6 to, six to 4 is still not great, but it's still okay. Yeah. Um, uh, so it's it's actually 7 to 4, because uh, I get plus 1 and then plus 2. So. Okay, okay, and then yeah, then you basically are only losing to the minus 4 in the auto fail. That's not bad. Yeah, I and think we'll be okay. And the curse tokens, which we have 4 of still. Oh, yeah, Nowhere. that is true. Well, we'll shoot the Thrall first, just to get it off of us. Sure. Or wait. No, I should shoot the Grave Weaver first, because... Hmm. Actually, no, I think I shoot the Thrall first because that has a chance of clearing the curse tokens. Okay. So yeah, we'll do a 4v2 pop. Or sorry, it's a 7v2. <laughs> yeah. uh, which is good because I just drew two to curse tokens and a negative one. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so we take two curses out of the bag, uh, Thrall is out of the bag, and uh, that is just how we drew it up. One more ammo off the 45. Alright, uh, next shot at the Grey Weaver. This one's going to be a 7v4. Uh, let's do the extra damage now, because okay, we still got more curses in the bag, and yeah, that's just 8v4. Zero right, succeeds, three damage. three damage. And, uh, Mr. Banks, why don't we go ahead and do one more, uh, 7v4, and not screw it up, huh? Yeah, that's the hope. Okay, I think we're good. Is there a negative four? There is a negative four. I wanted this, but that's okay. We'll go. We'll go eight v four because this is pretty important. Uh, boop. Okay. Ooh, Scary. Hey. Oh, yeah, beautiful shot. Wow. Yeah. No. Very glad I committed. Uh, and one more curse out of the bag. How many curses have I gotten rid of? 
There's you got an uh, you've gotten rid of six of them. I haven't drawn one yet. Wow. Okay. Cool. Uh, uh, was that fast. the last two bullets from your gun? Is that's goal one, one in the, in the chamber. chamber? Yeah. Yeah. So there's one bullet left in the gun. Uh, I don't have plus three because it's the end of the round. And then but I, uh, I can see your confidence for why you were probably going to be okay with killing those enemies. That is really nice. Yep. And then since I've got the space, I'll faster cryptic writings and just get Perfect. three resources. That's the uh, directive. Still describe the top two of your deck. Oh, yeah, I'm still here. Hi. Okay, yep. That's yeah, you, can, you can get out, so... That's right, going well. Great. Still no Greta, still no Greta. Yep, we just gotta find Greta and play her. <laughs> if she's right. the last card, I think I'm just dead, or I have to resign. But, you know, we'll figure it out. Okay, carry on. Four more clues are what we need. Which are conveniently how many clues are here, but I have not drawn my deductions. And I... Well, what I'm going to do, no matter what, is we're going to Daisy's tote bag out a Schaffner's because it's fast. Oh, heck yeah. And then... You can pay for it with the other Schaffner's. I want it. I want to just keep it in for... It makes my brain bigger. Oh, yeah, that's right. Very good. Cool. Um, I suppose I'm going to just, like, investigate. I love it. I need to get this out before the day is done, though. So just... I have to remember to do that. Uh, so I have six to three. Yep, that is good. Love it. Grab a clue. We're going to gain a resource. Very, very solid. Uh, we'll go six to three. Yeah, I have zero cards in my discard pile. Very, and very cool. And we'll go six to three one more time. Beautiful. Good stuff. I have 18 right. cards in my discard pile, so my cultists are negative threes now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, upkeep. Upkeep. Okay. Not the worst. Okay. Alright, we're at five of seven, and my evil card is another grab bag. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. You wanted to leave this location? Not on this watch. Well, I don't really have uh, many bullets left, so let's hope this is a soft one. Relentless Dark Young. It is not a soft one, but it does have a pretty low speed. Yes. Uh, okay. Alright. Yeah, what I do think. you got for your evil card? I think if you can evade this and get away from it, we just don't have to deal with it for the rest of the game, so that's something. Uh, although, I can definitely come for it later when I have guns. Later before Gamon. Hey, look at that. Damages. Oh, that's bad, actually. But I. Oh, wait. Limit one per agenda or act. Dang. Okay, so attach the agenda as well. They're probably going to pass pretty reasonably, though, at the same time. Yep, yeah. Uh, I need to be sure to have Greet down before that happens, and yeah, other than that, we'll be good. Okay. Do you, do you have any foot icons you can give? I do not, but I could... Oh, no, I can't draw for them, because I need to leave. I guess I could draw for Greet, and if I get Greet, then I could stay. <laughs> but then I'd still have to draw for the other thing. Um, sorry, I do not have foot icons. Okay, I'll try and evade this guy then. Okay. I'm gonna be up one. We're gonna commit this map the area. Okay, cool. And just hope for the best. That is not the best. No, nah, it's pretty bad. Alright, we're gonna try two to two. Okay. Zero to two, so that's not gonna be a success, I'll tell you that much right now. Uh, and then I will discard the top three cards of my deck. Okay. Pack, Dr. Rolan. And the Necronomicon. Nice. Okay. okay. And that's all There's the curses gone. A, uh, silver lining. Uh, and then we're going to evade two to two. All right. No, he's with me. Okay. Uh, well, I should regroup then. Let's draw a card. Not particularly helpful. Doesn't even have a book icon on it. It's got four fight. I can deal two damage to it at the moment. Engaging it doesn't help because I don't have my other directive. That is the one that allows you to evade things well. Hmm. Yeah, not looking great. Uh, I think I just have to move away from you at the moment, but I'm going to draw a card. Okay, that's a good one. Uh, and then I'll move up here for now, because if I 
don't get greet, then I think we just I have to go away. So um, yeah, sorry about that. It's all good. I'll take two and one, and then I'll go upkeep. Okay. Well, we didn't say grab a bag was going to be easy. <laughs> all right, six of seven. And my evil card is attach a location. This cost to move into or out of. Discard the top card of your deck. Discard weakness is a card is a weakness. Draw it otherwise for each copy of the discarded card in your play area or hand. You must either take a horror or discard that card. Okay. Oh, that's that's particularly obnoxious because the roll the struck ending is there. Um, and so I yep. need to yeah, cool. All right, so uh, evil card. <sighs> uh, infinite doorway. <laughs> Cool. All right, so I might be here for a bit just trying to find greed. Um, yeah, I'm I'm out of commission at the moment. I just don't have. Uh, I I can put bullets in the gun, but I can't come to you without discarding. Uh, two cards, and then no, discarding all, all another have, two. All I have is the evade, so I'm gonna. I mean, try it, right? Okay. I, I need to get it in the first two, otherwise I'm in hell. But yeah, it's not not a not a good time right now. So we'll try to evade two to two. I mean, I, there's there's zeros. Maybe there's a chance. It's not that one. I mm. gotta hit it on this one. Cultists. Nope. Okay. nope. Well, let's see if I can stop the damage at least. Okay. No. All okay. Right. I'm probably gonna die. Taking. Two and one, yeah, okay, that's not great. Okay, so do I just... Even if I load up the gun, that doesn't quite work. I could go engage the enemy, and then you could get away next turn, and then I could go resign. Yeah, that could be a thing. I could also draw for greet. That doesn't really help. I still don't have the evade option. There's a clue there. Yeah, uh, I think I draw a card first and see what I get from there. Nope. Not even an evade icon. Yeah, it's a bit tricky. It's a bit tricky. Nothing good is happening. Uh... So I can load the gun and then come down next turn. Mm -hmm. Again, I will probably die. Or I'd have to resign. I don't know. What do you think is better? Like you continuing to investigate and maybe I save mean, I the. I try to get us some more victory. If I can survive a turn, uh, if I can survive this, I can maybe try to get us a bit more victory. But I think uh, saving Doctor Francis Morgan might. Oh, doc, sorry, Doctor uh, Professor William Rice might be out of the question. Yeah. All right. Let's try uh, extra ammunition. We'll load the forty-five automatic. So that'll give us. Oh, <laughs> cute! It gives you resource tokens. And then, good, I can do that fast. That's kind of useful. So let's draw. Load the 45. If I move to your location now, I discard two. Yeah, that's probably best. Okay, discard two. If it's a weakness, you draw it. Otherwise, you just something, something. For each copy in your hand or play area, take a horror or discard it. Got it. Cool. Bring the night oil. Draw to the flame. Okay. Uh, that is that is me. And then end of turn, I discard two more. One in the chamber. Draw to the flame. Okay. Spicy. I did not discard greet, notably. So there's okay. a world where we... Hmm. Yeah, if I draw Greet in the next round, I can play Greet, shoot, shoot. And that should be okay. Uh, okay. Um, so, right. yeah. Uh, upkeep. Oh, I guess I discard a card as well at the end of my turn. It was this other Grim Memoir. All right. Upkeep. Okay. Upkeep. 
That is a great. Uh, yeah, I think we can. Right. I think I can live through this. Um, cool. Uh, uh, the only problem is, uh, I'll need to get this clue. Otherwise, it will be direct. So I will have to get. I'll get a clue. Fair. Yeah. Uh, but this advances if you wanted to read the agenda. Oh yeah, sure. Uh, the agenda. Each investigator with five or more cards in their discard pile takes a horror. Each investigator with ten takes two instead. The university is dead silent. The shadows coil about your feet as you walk, and you swear there's something following you with each step you take. Is it just your imagination, or is there really someone or something stalking you? Okay, so two more horror for me, which means I'm absolutely going to die at the end of the turn. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I didn't have an exit plan either, but it's fine. Uh, okay. Uh, well, you have a, you you actually have you have four horror left because of the, the directive, right? Yeah, that's true. Uh, I'm not not in trouble from horror. So, okay, I think I I think I know how to do this. Yeah, uh, I'll go first. All right. So, uh, our, what's our new agenda? Oh yeah, fair enough. Dead of night. Uh, Professor Isis' disappearance isn't the only thing at the university. You're unsure exactly what's going on. Should I believe Armitage is right in asking for help? Each investigator's max hand size is reduced by three. Spicy. And three doom advances. Okay. <laughs> oh no, I can only deal four damage, can't I? Uh. I thought I had a... No, I don't have a Vicious Blow or another option to deal a damage at the moment. Oh, because you have to get Gret out as well. Yep. Uh... Do you have any foot symbols? I do not. I can pretty easily discover the clue. Okay. Um, I can fairly easily shoot the enemy. Here, let's see what our evil cards are, then we can kind of see what falls. Yep. Throw out security guard. That's a problem. <laughs> yeah, that's a problem, yeah. Uh, it's It's got significantly uh, more stuff. And haunting recollections. For each card in your hand, if there's a copy in your discard pile... Take a horror to a maximum of three horror if there are no... Okay. Rough. Let's see here. I think that is two horror. Yep, because I'm going to guess that I have one of those in there. Yeah, I know Gret is in there, and there's the other one. Yep, cool. So that's two horror. All right. So if... So here's here's a thing. If you... um Take these enemies from me, uh huh. Um, I can get this clue, get out, and then. Tr so they're dealing because with Greta. So you're taking ten. So you have nine. Greta soaks for two or three at level zero. So Greta soaks for three. So you have twelve. So then this is uh, unfortunately thirteen damage. <laughs> yeah, I can. So, you know, I could. Play Greta, engage the security guard, and then we could we're back to evading at two again. Did you get any you know, speed icons? Um the alternative is that I um can just get us a victory point. What's the victory point from? Uh I might be able to delve a little bit too deep. <laughs> uh why don't you can you successfully evade twice? Or can you successfully delve, or do you just die? Um, I could probably delve. It's dealing a, there's a chance that I can take a damage, but I I also have like um uh six horror uh seven horror I can still take. Right. I was just saying you've got monsters on you, right? Don't you take uh a... No, that's what I mean. Like we could just you just take the enemies, I can get us a victory, and then I resign, right? It's like basically like we could just guarantee a victory and like because I think no matter what, I think we're on like we're close to the end of the road. Wait, because I, I probably I can I can go one evade where I'm up one, and it's not great. Ooh, I think I have it. Uh, okay. yeah. Let's see here. Yeah. Okay. Wait, I've got to play. Um. <laughs> it's a 
I'm looking for a will o wisp. Yeah. Okay. Greet Wagner. Hello. You just have two enemies, and there's not really anything I can do about that. Or, well, there is things I can... Oh, yeah, no, I've got it, I've got it. Okay. There's a fast response window after uh, enemy attacks, correct? Uh, it's after Hunter's move. After Hunter's move. Yeah, before enemies attack, there's a window for players to play cards. There's no window after enemy attacks between upkeep? Uh, there is upkeep phase begins player window. Okay, upkeep phase begins. That's what I need, I think. Oh, there's one after enemies attack as well. Yeah, before the enemy phase ends. Yep, okay, cool. Then that's that's what I need. <laughs> All right, this is going to be very silly. Uh, we will engage your relentless dark young. I'll engage your enthralled security guard. All right. Oh, I played greet, right? Yes, yes. She's down. Cool. All right. Got a bunch of friends. Just just, right. just a whole passel of friends. Um, and then... <laughs> fast action kicking the hornet's nest. <laughs> because I need a clue. Uh, and that's the only way to get it at the moment. So, uh, we'll... Oh, wait. I don't get the clue unless I find an enemy. Uh, we're looking for a will of the wisp. Yep, flipper will. Yep. Okay, so... Things are bad here, but I have an extra resource and a clue. Shall we spend the clues to advance this? Uh, yeah, by all means. All right. And you're free to carry on. I'm just going to deal with this mess. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we shuffle Jazz into the encounter deck. Oh, wait, is this end of turn? The end of your turn. Okay, so... Oh, no. Because it's end of turn, not end of round. Oh, that was... <laughs> Dang it. Right. You'll discard the card, right? But it won't cause this to trigger, right? The Beyond the Veil won't trigger? Doesn't it? Oh, no, it is if your deck has no cards, and I thought it's when you would draw. Yeah, it's not when I would... Yeah, okay, so... Wait! Uh, oh, 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 okay, I've got it. I discovered a clue, so I draw a card. Uh, murder... No, not murder, greet. We're gonna... Okay, so I take 10 damage. Let's put 8 of it on us and 2 of it on greet. That seems right. Okay. okay. Fast action, bizarre diagnosis. Put my clue back. And heal 3. Oh, uh, no, you don't have your clue anymore, right? Because we spent it? Oh, and it's not fast anymore either. Everything's bad. <laughs> Uh, because okay. I, I played the uh, Like God Sword map, so, or that's Like God Sword map. Uh, I played a Kicking in the Hornet's Nest. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, all of this is bad. This does not work. <laughs> that's good. I can, I, I'll get us, I can get us a victory. I'll get us a victory. Okay, cool. Um, so I will, I will not do the... <sighs> it's end of turn for me. Uh -huh. I... Shoot! Is there any way that I can do this where I don't? No. Oh, wait. That works because I'm not dead yet. I'm. Just, it's still enemy no, you're phase. Not dead. You're not dead. You're, okay. You're so you can go get clues, and I can just take like a, a ridiculous amount of damage. <laughs> yes. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave. <laughs> uh, okay. So I'll discard two cards. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on me, <laughs> and six. And Yeah, I'll discard this other arcane enlightenment. Okay. Um. I don't know how far I can get without you. Uh, yeah, there's some enemies here. I don't think any of the Whippoorwill has Hunter. And the guard has Hunter. Yeah, I think if you get lucky on Jazz, then you're fine. So you should probably just sit in the quad for a bit. Oh, wait, now you have to get clues. Yeah. Uh, but you could potentially, like, uh... Bizarre Diagnosis does not heal you. Well, these guys aren't going to be moving this turn, so I can stay here this turn. Yeah, you can stay there this turn, you can go to the quad, and then you can come back and resign if you need to. I, I think you should be okay as long as you find Jazz quickly, and if you don't, you should resign. Is sort of my thought. Although, if they come I back... agree, because yeah, basically, as soon as this security guard catches up with me, I'm dead. Oh, he just deals one damage. Oh, you've got the Professor Dr. Malone now. 
Yeah. yeah, yeah, but but if I'm not like basically at a resign location, I'm dead. Oh, fair enough. Okay. All right. Well, we're gonna. I'm gonna think a bit about the future. I have this Raven Quill. I'm gonna attach to my Grim Memoir. Sure. Get that experience. Uh, and then I have one action left. I'm going to move down to the student union. Okay. Uh, and then after I leave this location, I discard a card. It's a deny existence. Cool, cool, okay. cool. Uh, enemy phase. I am defeated, for sure. Uh, is How it do you want to die by? Because I think you get dealt enough... Uh, I don't actually get dealt enough mental damage to die. It has to be physical. Yeah, it's just all physical. Yep. Uh, three and uh, two. So, yeah. Take a physical trauma. Am defeated. The Whippoorwill, Security Guard, and Relentless Dark Young are dropped on this location. Notably, the Dark Young does not have Hunter. So. Yes, thankfully. Okay, and then I'll go upkeep, and then let's just maybe get... Um, Dar uh, who we need right off the top, right? Maybe Jazz is just hiding up top here, right? Yep. Did we shuffle him in? Uh, I did. Cool. Yeah. All right. So a, a one in 27 shot. Go for it. It's a Whippoorwill. Okay. Which is fine. Yeah, that's fine. fine. Problem Here is it's a one trap. Mr. Um, security guard. Okay. Mr. Security Guard is a ways away yet, so... Yeah. If you want to, like, investigate... I'm going to the top five cards. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, I'm going to fast out this occult lexicon. Okay. Yeah, if you get enough of them. It would a long time ago, but I'm still happy it's here. And we're going to... Sorry. Hey, with the Schaffners. Yeah, you don't have many cards left in your deck, so if you get the second copy, then you can kill the uh, security guard. Security guard, yep. It's kind of what I'm thinking. Problem is I'm a little bit resource light right now, but we'll fix that with this burning the midnight oil. Fair enough. Because I'm a seeker. We, there's nothing we can't solve. Got it. So we're going to go uh, five to the game's one. Love it. Oh, sorry. I also get plus one brain. Because I have one, two, three, four. So we'll go five to the game's one. Cool. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna even I'm gonna use the Grim Memoir. No, I can't because this is a Burning the Midnight Oil. Ooh, what does this do? Uh, you can return a tome from your discard pile to your hand. Okay, I'll return this Dream Diary. I like it. Maybe I can translate it before the day is done. Yeah, seems pretty likely. I mean, amongst other things, you can fast it out and then fast activate it, right? So. All right, we're gonna Grim Memoir. Sure. Don't even need to exhaust it. So we're going to go seven to the game's one. Love it. Nice. I have seven minus is three, so I'll draw a card. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, okay. And then enemy phase. So this Whippoorwill moves here, and then this guy moves there. Got it. And then we go upkeep. Upkeep. That is a nice draw. Okay. Glad to hear. All right, we're at two of three. Oh, actually, and can I... I have drawn... That is not great. I'm going to assign myself this color so I can see your cards. I think that's what works, right? Sure, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no that doesn't work. What is it? Change color. Oh, uh, you do black. You do the black seat. No, oh, where's the black seat? It should be right at the top. Yeah, they might have removed it. Odd. Here, one second, Oh, I know why. It's because you don't have a... Because I'm not uh, the host? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I assigned myself your color? No, that doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> All right. no, I, can play, I can play in black. I can play in black. Oh, okay, sure. Uh... I'll play black, then you can see it. Okay, yeah, that works. Okay. <laughs> so I think I'm teams. dead. I think I'm dead. Okay. Uh, did you draw something bad? Oh, you drew a second yeah, security guard. Him. Okay. Uh, yeah, your speed icons are very bad. Oh, you have two blood rights, though. Yeah, the only problem is the other guy comes, but I think... Blood right, blood right. Take the damage from the hunter. Uh, you could fast dream diary to get a speed? Yep. That's actually probably the line, right? 
Yeah, it unfortunately only gets you like what four speed, which is still not that good. Not that good. But it, it could I could also attack the guy and potentially translate my dream diary, right? Because right now it's about thinking about the future. Oh yeah, uh, you should blood right and then dream diary attack. That seems good. And that gets you more cards, so you might be able to evade the second guy. Cool, we'll draw two cards. Oh, I have to do it manually. I dealt it to everybody. I dealt it <laughs> to everybody. Okay. If you would like your color back, that's fine. We have we have seen no, your no, cards. I just, I'm sorry, I was in muscle memory. I just gotta. I can get back into it. Okay. This is, this is how I usually play on Mondays. So. All right. Are these my cards button. or your cards? They're my cards. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna discard this uh, scroll of prophecies, and this tooth of Etzli. Spend two to deal this guy two damage. Cool. We're going to fast out the Dream Diary. Cool. Uh, and then I'm going to use my ability to resolve. <laughs> you get to investigate as well to draw a card if you want. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I might as well. <laughs> so we'll investigate at five to the game's one. I've done it. Excellent. Draw a card. Um, and then I will put the essence of the dream into my hand. Excellent. Oh, I should have done that in the other order. Because I could have used the dream diary, essence of the dream, to just translate it there. Okay. Um... Uh, you have double blood rights. You can survive the other guy as well if you succeed the essence of the dream test. Yeah. So yeah, we'll try to punch this guy up to. All right. One second. If I go four, five. No, nah, we'll go up to up to. Believe in the heart of the cards. Oh, let's go. He's dead. Uh, there's a wood for will at your location. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Yeah. What can you do? Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, I think you. Is this your second action? You can still blood right, right? Uh, is it my second action? Yeah, it's my second action. I really wanted to translate that. Uh, I'm actually gonna delve too deep. I want the experience or okay. anything else. Sure, that works. Uh, so I'll draw a Beyond the Veil, <laughs> which will surge into this. So we're gonna test five all. Okay. Sorry, four. So I'll discard. Uh, I have two, so we'll discard the top three. Three. Just get us some victory. Well, grab bag right. is already a delight. I'm very pleased with this. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I need I need the upgrade I need the upgraded backpacks. If I get those, I'm we're in a much I'm in a much more opening consistent place. Yeah, that makes All sense. Right. This guy comes here. Whippoorwill comes down. It's and just a. I will die to meet damage. Hassle of dirt. Yeah, didn't die to the real of the dark young. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. All right, I will die to meet, and you died to meet. So we each log a meet trauma. Yep. Oh man, normal Daisy has three speed, right? Yeah, I think it was changed for this for the um Yeah. This. For parallel. Okay. okay. Uh no resolution was reached. Fair enough. Uh, uh Army knocked Professor unconscious. Warren Rice was kidnapped. Good times. Uh, uh we failed to save the students, so we add a tablet to the bag. Oh, very fun. All right. Save the students. Um, and we get one bonus experience because we failed. <laughs> so we are actually walk away with four experience then. That's uh, that's good. Okay, yeah, four experience is definitely not not terrible. This not is why uh, this is why you always play house always wins first, and I'm very glad that we didn't. <laughs> yeah. uh, because uh, this is a, this is a traditional Arkham start. I'm just very happy about yeah. that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Well, apologies uh, for not being able to save you from the goat man. Um, it's all good. It's all it happens. And uh, yeah, at least we got four experience and died to meet damage. Well, but that's bad for you specifically. So. Yeah, well, I'll be I'll, I'll be okay though. I hope anyway. Okay. All 
All right. Uh, well, cool. Uh, thank you so much for watching, everyone. We will be back with another one on Justin's side. So there will be a link in the description below. Uh, and you can go ahead and check out the second round. I think these will be going up at about the same time. Uh, and uh, yeah, so stay tuned for The House Always Wins with playing board games on their channel. Yeah, let's go. All right. Cheers.